Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Of course, I have another makeup tutorial and this look basically consists of some berry, pinky, purpley eyes. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this makeup look, then please just keep on watching. So for this look, I really wanted a dewy base. So I started by using 17's Skin Wow Highlighter. You can use this in three different ways and today I'm using it as a primer and it makes my skin just glow. To further prime my skin and make it more dewy, I'm just spraying a couple of sprays of MAC Fix Plus onto my face. For foundation, I'm mixing together my L'Oreal Paris True Match foundation and my MAC Studio Fix Fluid foundation because my L'Oreal one is that tad too dark so I mixed my light MAC one in with it and it just created a really really nice colour and blended and just matched my natural skin colour quite well basically and yeah I just dot that onto my face and then blend it all in with a Real Techniques Expert face brush. Then I popped on some concealer and I used this one and yes I did drop it and yes I did decide to keep that clip in just in case any of you thought that was as funny as I did. Probably not but anyway. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I can't remember the shade name but I will leave all the shades and stuff in the down bar like I normally do. So yeah I'm just popping this where I normally do under my eyes on any spots, any redness then blending it in with a Jessup foundation brush. To set that all in place, I'm using my trusty Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and I'm setting my eyes separately with this Equal Tools blush brush. Then I'm setting the rest of my face with an Equal Tools powder brush, I believe it's called. For my eyebrows, I am using this HD Brow Kit and I'm using the medium brown shade to shape them more and define them more and just fill them in basically. Then I'm going over them with the Maybelline Brow Drama to set them in place. I'm then popping on some of MAC's Painterly Paint Pot on my eyelids and basically everywhere that I'm going to be applying eyeshadow. From the Makeup Revolution Rum Boy Rum Palette, I'm taking this creamy kind of white shade and I'm basically just setting that primer in place. From the same palette, I'm going to take this medium brown shade and I'm just going to buff this into the crease of my eyes. And this is basically me starting my transition shade. I am going to go in with a darker red colour. Bitten from Makeup Geek, but this just builds up because if I went straight in with the red, it would probably be very, very messy. So then I'm just going in with the red shade, which is Bitten by Makeup Geek, and it is gorgeous. Then I'm spraying a brush with MAC Fix Plus just to make this red eyeshadow from the Makeup Revolution palette more intense. This probably wasn't the best brush to use because it did give me loads of fallout and I think because the brush just didn't have good brush hair so that's why it gave me fallout but yeah it was a really weird brush anyway so I'm basically just packing that onto my eyelids then on a more precise brush I just put on some more of Bitten to basically get rid of any harsh lines for the outer corners of my eyes and to deepen up the look I'm taking this gorgeous deep kind of purple colour called Burlesque from Makeup Geek and it is beautiful. So I'm just packing that onto the outer corners then buffing it all together. Then I just got a pointed foundation brush and basically created a sharp line for the eyeshadow. To highlight my inner corners and brow bones I used the lightest shimmery colour in the Makeup Revolution palette. I almost forgot like what brand that was, that was crazy weird, whatever. Then I just popped some of Bitten on my lower lash lines to make it more smoky. And to make this look even more smokier, I put some of this L'Oreal eyeliner pencil thingy my bob on my water lines and I also tight lined with this which looks really disgusting, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not using any falsies in this look so I'm just going to be applying mascara on my top and bottom lashes and the mascara I went for for this video was the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I'm sorry I was out of shot for that little bit there but yeah, I'm clumsy. To finish off the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with this bronzer to bronze up my skin and make me look not as if I'm a ghost, basically. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just using this one and this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze, if I didn't say that already, and the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. For blush, I'm using this HD Brows one 
and this is so nice and I thought this went with the eyeshadows really nicely because it's such a pretty pink colour. For highlight I'm using this one from MUA, the pink one and again I thought this went with the eyeshadows so nicely and I also went with the blush really nicely as well. So I just popped that on the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow and a bit on my forehead. Then I'm lining my lips with this gosh lip liner in the shade Nugget Crisp. It's a really nice nude colour and yeah I'm just lining my lips and filling them in with that too. The lipstick that I decided to go for was Twig by MAC and I adore this colour, it's gorgeous and like the other products I think it went with this look really really nicely and just tied it all together. So that's this makeup look complete. I really hope you like this look, I really like how it turned out, I really like the berry kind of tones and I hope you do too. So let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!